Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Theme Park. Today, we're going to be trying something a little bit different. We all know what a safe is, right? A safe is where you keep your most valued treasure. Uh, maybe you actually have one in your house. Usually, uh, you need either a really big key to get in, or you have to put in a passcode for the door to open, or some of them you need a passcode and a key to get in them. Well, we're going to be building a Minecraft safe. This is going to be a heavily redstone orientated uh, gadget. So if you like your redstone, hopefully you'll enjoy this. I'm going to be building a couple of things that I've never built before either, so it could end up to be quite the fail, but we're going to give it a go anyway. This safe is going to be huge. It's got to hold all of the redstone that we're going to do to try and keep the redstone sort of hidden, if you like. And I think what we're going to do is build most of it out of iron, because what safe shouldn't be made out of metal. It would be pretty pointless if you made a paper safe <laughs> let's also grab some redstone stuff here i don't know exactly what we're gonna need so i'm just gonna grab like a bunch of stuff and a block to place redstone on i always like putting it on white wool because i don't know i can see the redstone the best on it what we're gonna do is start off with i'm gonna do a five by two uh square uh basically 10 blocks and I'm going to place levers on it. This is going to be our first, lo uh, our first lock on here. I think we're going to have four locks on this safe. We're going to have this one, which is a sort of lever combination lock. Uh, we're going to have maybe a, a pin code of like a, a four digits, nine button pin code. And then a couple of other ones on the top. I think I'm sort of getting some ideas in my head on how I want that to work. Uh, but I think that's probably a good start. Um, I think I'm actually going to, for design purposes later on, I'm actually going to put this a little bit higher up. You are going to have to fly to use this safe uh, to be able to put in all the buttons, so I don't really, I'm not really worrying about the height. Okay, so once you've got this in, you need to come around the other side and place torches on the back of every block. Now, if we turn off one of these levers, the... Uh, redstone torch on the opposite side will turn off so that one or this top one in the middle as you can see it's off you can make this as big or small as you want if you wanted to you could have it just uh, two levers or four levers or six levers or eight levers or I don't know 40 levers it doesn't really matter how many you do uh, it should still all work once we've got that you're gonna place down a row of uh, I'm gonna use wool uh, like I said, I like to place redstone wool so I can see it. On top of those torches, a row in front of those torches, a row behind that, and a row underneath it. So you're going to get this shape. Okay, I think you can all follow that, right? Then underneath these torches, <clears throat> underneath those torches, and is it one away? Yeah, I think we'll do one away. So here... We're going to place a row of blocks as well. And then two blocks on the bottom. And this is basically all of the blocks that we're going to really need to get this working. Uh, now, I think probably the next smartest step would be to set our code. So what do we want? We probably want up, down, down, up, down. And then on the bottom, down, down, up, up. No, up, down, up. Does that sound good? Up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Yeah, I reckon we can do that. That sounds like good. So on the back here, you can see the torches are now off if the levers are flicked down. What we're going to do is we're going to place uh, torches on any of the blocks. Well, it shouldn't matter either way. I can't remember what way round we should do this, but I think... What we're going to do is we're going to put uh, repeaters in front of the torches that are on and torches on the blocks that have the torches that are off. So as you can see, it's on, off, off, on, off. And on this side, we've got repeater, torch, torch, repeater, torch. I might have that the wrong way round. We shall find out later on. <laughs> There's no real way to tell yet. And then we can place redstone dust 
along the top here and we can place redstone dust along this one on the bottom one we're going to place repeaters along here oops like that and then on this one um we're going to place torches on the torches on the ones that are on would that be a good idea oh no not here though on this one and then redstone on the ones that are off now that seems like it's better to me so i think i might have these the wrong way around i've never built it before i've never built it before i'm sort of trying to to figure out in my head how exactly it would work but if we do this that makes the redstone off on both of them and that that seems to sound about right to me we'll just have to wait and see okay what we need to do now is join these two up together this shouldn't be a problem we can have a block with a repeater and then a block up here and below with a piece of redstone dust on it like that so now this power is going to come down here power the torch and then uh power the redstone dust i don't know if we've got it right yet it'll be easy to fix if it's not and then we should be able to just hook that up to that one and have a torch on the end and that should be our output we should be able to have this going to let's say for example purposes an iron door we'll be able to see if we've got this correct or not um put the torch back on update it so it's on at the moment because the code is correct if i flick one of these torches there we go the code is wrong how amazing is that hang on i haven't got my sound on my tv <laughs> that's better oh i can sit back down oh this is quiet how come i can't hear anything oh i hope hopefully you guys could hear everything before in the video so yeah if you've got the code correct which is this the door is open if i make this a little bit easier and we put a door surround on it like that but as soon as you get one of the codes wrong the door will close dum, dum, dum. um there we go <laughs> <laughs> I got it. So obviously there must be um there must be at least a quarter of a million different possibilities for this. Uh in fact, I think maybe more. There's a lot, isn't there? Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of different combinations. It would be very, very difficult for someone just to guess it. So we're gonna have to have a way for people to work out how each of the uh uh, codes are gonna work and I think we can do this in a really subtle way using cracked stone brick and normal stone brick if they're cracked they should be down and if they're normal they should be up so I think that is like a, a really sort of cool way as you can see it doesn't really look like much and then we can have up the side here these and these I think the two blocks go very well together now if I reset this back to normal my door is locked I can't get in but if I flick the levers that have the moss the, the cracked stone by them yes okay that's awesome for us obviously and you guys watching this video it looks it's pretty obvious you know these cracked stone bricks stand out quite a lot but if you just came here for the first time you might just think that's like a design like it's been worn a bit and and, and don't really notice it uh, but i think that's a good way i think that's a fair way to do it it's actually quite a compact uh little lock as well you could do this on on all sorts of things uh to your base or to a certain part of your base i really like that i think that's pretty cool so my phone went -a -ding -a -ding. uh let's have the door probably in the middle here um sort of just work out where we want to do it and a maximum size let's do 
We could do a three by three door, but that would require the safe to be a lot bigger because obviously we would need pistons up this side, redstone behind it to power the pistons, etc., uh, etc. Et what about what about making it like that, but just a little bit more compact and simpler, and have uh, that one, that one, that one. And then these. And have a area that these three pistons activate. And these three pistons activate. Like that. And then when you unlock all of the all of the combinations, these open up. I think that's good. It's pretty easy for us to wire up that way. I can take that away. Uh, we can have a sort of combination of of torches here and then be able to turn them off uh, for example let's just hook it up to this one uh, if all we've got to do is turn all three of those torches off and we should be able to do that shouldn't we like let's just get this code right again uh, that one, that I'm glad I done the, the mossy uh, or the uh, cobblestone, cracked stone, whatever you want to call it. I don't know because I wouldn't have a clue otherwise. So this torch, that one's off, good. And then that one's off, but that middle one is. Oh, that middle one is powering both of them. Hey. Okay, if I take that away, we only need to unpower that one, don't we? How can we just unpower that one? Let's have that. Let's do that. No, that's not going to work. That one, that one. Hmm. I'm just I'm trying to keep this as compact as I possibly can, obviously. Uh and then have a repeater there. Oops. That's good. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, so that can unlock the door. Uh, we can obviously hide up this redstone. As this is only one block wide, we can have these pistons hidden up however we want. So the entrance ends up being a nice three wide area. Uh, four wide area, sorry. Need to move those ones. Yeah, like that. And obviously, if we hooked up on the other side, those pistons would go that way as well. I think that's pretty good. How are we doing for time? We can... I think we can do another lock. Let's do a lock that we've done a tutorial on before, so you guys can um, uh, maybe even follow, build along with me if you remember how to do it. So, for this one, let's space this out. We want... Just to make things even for me, so I can... My eyes... Uh, can adjust nice and easily. Uh, we want uh, this block one block away from this one. So right there. Just to keep it like the same. <laughs> um, but this one's only going to be one block high. What we're going to be doing is doing an item frame combo lock here. Uh, let's have, I think three would be probably good. So I'll put these along here. Then we need some item frames. I think I can remember how to do this. I done a tutorial when it first came out. I have no idea if I can still do it though. <laughs> we'll have those along here. And then you can choose what item you want to put in here. Obviously some uh, items will work better than others. Some people use a redstone torch. Because it sort of points in that direction like a, a clock hand. I prefer, I prefer using an arrow. Oops, an arrow. Because it looks like an arrow. It's pointing in that direction. I just prefer it. So we're going to put uh, three of these in. 
Oh, really? It keeps its orientation. I thought that would reset it if you took it out and then put it back in again. But no, it actually keeps interesting. Hmm. That's just me finding something like that interesting. I doubt anybody else does. <laughs> Let's grab our wool back again. And try to remember how I done this one. So we have, uh, obviously, comparators have to be on the backs of these to read the item frame uh, rotation. And then I think we probably want to set up the combination. Now, I don't exactly know how we're going to hint at people that this is how it's going to be. So for the moment, I'm actually going to place the solution above. But I'll just look with redstone torches because I don't want to get another arrow. Let's have that one point down and right. That one point... up and no that's, that's down and left this one can be down and right and then this one can be to the l hang on what way is that actually pointing you just don't know do you um i <laughs> that's why i like uh the arrows you can just see yeah see that's a that's a totally different direction to what it said it was <laughs> That is totally different. Okay, so at the moment, let's do bottom right, bottom left, right. That sounds good to me. So let's match these down here. We want look to the right, bottom left, bottom right. Now, on the other side here, what we're going to do is we're going to get our blocks. And step one is just to drag out... A ton of blocks okay it will probably end up being shortened uh, but we're gonna just drag out some blocks here and then get your redstone dust and place your redstone dust along here now when the redstone dust goes off for the moment just stop okay we'll drag this one it's still on okay it goes off there and for this one it went off right there perfect okay we can work with this. What we're going to do is delete all of the blocks where it is off, including the piece of redstone dust where it does go off. You can tell if it's off uh, because there's no particles coming off it. Some people can't see if it's if it's lit. Like you can see that's sort of barely lit. It's slightly different color. But if there's no particles coming off it, it's not on. So remove those ones and remove those ones. So we end up with this now what you're going to do is come underneath it and place a couple of blocks oops no no don't do it a couple of blocks underneath it like that and underneath this one and place a repeater here here and here again with this lock you can do more than three item frames you could do quite a fair number it might just be difficult to hook up at the very end but i shall let i should talk about that in a bit i think you should should be able to sort of work it out for yourself okay now what we need to do is put a block down to the side here this is just going to run our redstone dust down like uh, that and then that is pretty pretty much it oh yeah oh no 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 <laughs> there is something you need to put a torch at the block before the last block on each one so a torch here a torch here it's one before the end and a torch here being one before the end then what you need to do is run your redstone underneath that torch okay underneath it so if that torch is powered it would power the redstone for example like if i just turn this oh, that should hmm why you no change oh is it reading the one above it as well Why no change? Oh, it is changing. Yeah. 
off on 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 or off okay what about this one i need to hook this up i might have done something wrong here oh uh, don't do that so this one is oh i ha i found it off on 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 off okay i done it in the wrong I, I done the setup in the wrong order i feel terrible it doesn't matter though we're still gonna it's still a working lock i just taught you guys in the wrong order i feel terrible this is gonna be the code whenever it's off it's the code there we go okay so let's put it above here the code is actually right down up and right i feel terrible that is like the worst tutorial ever well this isn't a tutorial video i've got an actual tutorial on this lock i'll put it in the description below to make up and say sorry guys uh what we should have done is the code uh we should have placed a torch wherever the code was gonna be but it doesn't matter don't worry your little heart about it it should still all be fine. All we need to do now, though, is hook up the three together. So that one hooks up to that one. This one hooks up to that one. And then that's pretty much it. What we need to do now is... Uh, do we need to invert the signal? When the code is correct, the redstone lead is off. And that's a good thing for us because we want to have our torches. How do we do our torches in the end on this side? Uh, just the top two. Okay. And then we had that one with a repeater on it. That one and that one with two pieces of redstone. Three pieces of redstone, sorry, on it. And then a block underneath like that. So then when we power this, let's just double check. Yeah, it, that, it uh, opens up and that closes. Perfect. So for the moment, this is going to power this side. And this one is powering that side. That will obviously change at the end and we'll hook them all up together. Uh, but what we should be able to do now is bring a redstone signal down and across. Cover up those blocks to stop it from hooking up like that we don't want that to happen and i might do one here like that now if the code why is that oh it can't reach ah we need a repeater uh that one it was just like it was like one block off if the code is now incorrect the door is open we don't want that we want the opposite hello uh oh something is back powering what's the back powering oh no back powering is a bad thing Okay, that's sorted out. Can I just come off here? Can I? Yes. Okay, so at the moment, we're figuring it out. I, I, I like finding these problems with you guys. Because then if you come across them, you'll then know how to solve them. Because we get to solve them on camera. I'm not a redstone genius. I'm just like everybody else. <laughs> I just sit here until I work it out. That's all it is. Uh, we want to invert this so when the code is incorrect, the door is closed. That's simple enough to do. We put a torch on the end. Okay. When the code's incorrect, the door is going to be closed. If I put this around here, it might be a little bit easier to see. So the door is closed. Let's flick this as well. Door is closed. If I get this code right, so let's spin them around. You can't hear it opening, but that one 
that one. We heard the door open. That side's now open. And on this one, we flick that one. And that is now open. Now, obviously, it won't work like that again. We won't have this side working that half and this side working the other half. What we'll do is once we've got and tested uh, the other two redstone gizmos, uh, we shall then hook them all up together to a giant AND gate so that once... Uh, all of them are done, it will then power both sides of the door. But anyway, that's all we've got time for today, unfortunately. Um, see if you guys can come up with a way that we could give the answer to this code lock without it being as obvious as the code being above it. I don't know. I'll let you guys th be creative and try and think up a way. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. I apologize for getting a couple of bits wrong, but we figured out the problems in the end. Uh, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. We should see you in the next episode.